lot of things. Um, but for the past few, like during as summer started and um, just like random times here and there throughout the beginning of my summer, um, I went shopping and I'll just share with you guys what I got. So first thing, I will just go through some things I got from Daiso. I've actually gone to Daiso multiple times, like way, way more times. But this is not all of it because some of them I'm already using and I was just lazy to gather them up and show them to you guys. Okay, so first comes first are these um, stand with partition. They're basically like organization, organization, <laughs> organizational trays. Um, they come with dividers. Uh, if you can see this, this is a divider right here, and then you can move them. You can take them out and you can put them back in, and you can customize what you want to put in that area. Uh, um, these are for pedicure. This, these are pedicure pads. I got the pink ones because I like pink, and um, I don't usually paint my toenails, but when I do, oh my gosh, it's the hardest thing ever. Like, I have the hardest time giving myself a pedicure because. It's just not as neat as I would like it to be, so that's why I thought I would get some of these, just so that, you know, I can be a little bit neater when I do my pedicure. And then I have some lace tape. I decided I wanted to do a DIY with this because um, I actually have, like, a lot of my earrings and some of my, like, necklaces on this cork board, and it just looks... It looks... A little too plain for me, so I wanted to like decorate it with some of this lace tape, make it look shabby shaky. Is that is that even a word, shabby shaky? Um, and then I have uh, oil painting acrylic paint um, canvases. This is a canvas board that comes with two, and I was gonna actually do like a watercoloring art piece on here. We'll see. Um, so that's why I got some of these. Um, brushes. These are the horse bristle painting brushes and there's five of them and they're all different um, sizes. Oh, <laughs> this is, okay I already took it out of here but it's a stitch ripper or a seam ripper um, and I needed it for my um, my sewing project for school for one of my finals and yeah I took it out of here but I'm pr if you guys are kind of curious what a stitch like a seam ripper looks like there's a little drawing of what it looks like. Yeah, it's just so that you can go through a stitch and then rip it out so that you can take the stitch out and then redo it. So yeah, it was really cheap and it works well. So you don't have to go to like Michael's or like um, Joanne's and get yourself like a super expensive one because that's unnecessary. At least I believe so because 150 and it works pretty well. Next is the tracing wheel. Um, this is... A really really cute polka dotted tracing wheel oh my gosh so if you guys do sewing like I do if you guys um, so do like DIY like making your own clothes or just sewing in general a tracing wheel will be your lifesaver when making patterns oh my gosh pattern making is the, like seriously it was becoming like really really upsetting to do for me because it was just really difficult to do uh, because you have to make sure the pattern is the right measurement or else if you use the wrong measurement made pattern and you cut out the fabric and it doesn't fit oh my gosh the tragedy yeah um, but the tracing wheel helps to trace out the shape um, as well as like if you're ever like needing to make like a mark on your fabric with like tracing like there's like this paper that you use and you just put that in between your fabric and then you use this and then you just trace it along and it makes a mark and it's fabulous yeah, and it's cute because it has polka dots and it's a super girly one. Next, I got these permanent markers. So, these are by Monami. And um, I actually really, really like Monami pens. Me and my sister really love Monami pens. Um, these are the, the regular um, permanent marker versions of the Monami pens. Um, but yeah, you guys should try out Find Monami pens or pencils. Like, they have pens. Their pens are really good. Because Monami, they're just really nice and smooth. The ink is really, really smooth. They have different types of, um, like, widths for the, the point of the pens. Um, and they always come with, like, different colors as well, too. So, yeah. 
yeah, I got these, and they're really, really dark black. Oh my gosh, and it really, really works. And these were only 150 as well. Better than buying Sharpie pens, and Sharpie pens are like, those are really expensive. And these don't really smell bad. Yeah. And then I got this really cute um, vinyl case. Um, it's like a floral case, but it's um, see-through when you open it, like, let me show you guys. So there's actually two sections. You can put one here and then you can put more here. Um, I got this because I needed something to put my um, illustration pens in. Because when I would do my um, like my costume designs or just any drawings for class, I would just bring along the box of pens with me. But you know the box gets bulky and annoying and you know, you can poke yourself with then it hurts. So, I got myself a little vinyl case. And it's the cutest case ever. And I'm really happy with it. And it was only $150. Daiso, guys. Daiso. And then, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have noticed that um, I actually attempted um, trying to do some felting. And it was seriously the most difficult thing I've ever done. So this is a bunny that I bought to make. And oh my gosh, this took forever. Like, it doesn't look like the bunny that's on the picture. Guys, oh my gosh, should I just show you this right now? Cause it's, here it is. Okay, here's the bunny that they made. Here's my bunny. Do you see the difference? Cause I do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was really fun attempting to make it though, even though, you know, it didn't, come out the right way and not as cutely um, but yeah it was fun to try out and you know try something new because you guys if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I crochet all the time and I make dolls out of my crocheting-ness that I go crazy on so yeah so those, that's felting and so I thought I would you know <sighs> attempt it again so I bought a panda one and this is the cutest little panda ever it's so cute. It's so cute. So, um, my friend Angie, she loves pandas and she's probably gonna watch this video um, sometime in the future. And maybe I'll have this already done and I would have had already given it to her without ruining the surprise by saying the video. But oh well. Yeah, Angie, if you're watching this already, I'm making this panda for you. So, yeah. This is a really cute panda. I hope it comes out like that. We will see. And then I was a little bit naughty and I bought a whole bunch of felt. Yeah. Um, I got the one for the cookie one. This one is just like, like make a chocolate, chocolate cookie type thing. At least that's what they say to me before. Uh, and then I got the duck. Because the duck is adorable. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I want to make this one for my older sister. Because um, she loves ducks. Like every time she sees a baby duck, she goes, oh! Uh, and then the last one is the macaroon or macaron or maca macaron. I don't know. I call it macaroon, macaron, whatever, how you want to say it. I took French and I still don't know how to say macaroon right in the French accent. Macaron. 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 So this is the macaroon um, felt. So macaroon duck cookie. Um, I went to Whole Foods and I got soap because um, that's like I was in a hurry and I just got soap. And these are by Good Soap, um, and they're crafted with fair trade shea butter. And oh my gosh, they, there was tons of different um, scents. By it was like, like buy three for six dollars, so I got three different ones. And um, oh my, they smell so good. So this one right here. They all kind of make sense together uh, because they were in the bag for so long. Uh, but this one is the rose one. It smells so good. And it's pink. It's so cute. It's like a baby pink color. I haven't tried these out yet, so I don't know how like moisture anything or what they are, but yeah. And this one is a honey one, I believe. Oh, oh. That's my, you know, that's my sound when I make, that's the song that I'm saying. What? That's the song that I'm going to sing whenever I smell something good. 
Okay, must stop. And lastly is the coconut one. Oh my gosh, so the coconut one is the one that I was, I was dying over this because it smells so good. Oh my gosh, so this one is pure white bar. The other one was like a honey colored, like a honey colored <laughs> bar. And then the last one that I showed you first is the rose one. So yeah, so these each I believe are three dollars I believe for one, but then they're having a deal where you could get three for six. So yeah. So basically, I got each of them for two dollars. Yeah. Which I really, really like. I'm really excited to try these out. So I'm hoping they, I'm hoping that they turn out well. Um, on my skin, and I'm oh gosh, but yeah. Check out good soaps, guys. And then at Marshalls, I got two things recently for Marshalls. I got the um, this is the DW Home, yeah, DW Home Richly Scented Candle and Wild Honey Nectar. Oh my gosh, this smells exactly like honey. It's ridiculously it's so good I'm gonna like this throughout the summertime because it's it's a beautiful scent it's so good DW Holmes and then for Marshalls I also got the Essie good to go rapid dry top coat um, cuz I actually have one already that I used up um, and it's gonna be near the end so I thought I'd get a new one and I'm so happy to find this at Marshalls cuz if you buy this at Target or CVS it's like eight dollars and I was like no and so I'm so happy that I found it at Marshalls for half the price yeah. okay and then Target I have some random things from Target because you guys know me guys I love Target so I have three Crayola socks they're so cute! Oh my gosh, guys. So, if you guys don't know, I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys don't know at all, but um, I love cute socks. I love getting socks with characters on them, with like, um, I have a whole set of socks with Big Bang members on them. I know. I know. Um, yeah, so I love cute socks. So this one's a green crayon. And then also from Target, um, I got the e.l.f. Studio Flawless Concealer Brush, which is, I'm so excited because um, this one, uh, like I think they just brought it in recently, because um, this wasn't there before, and I'm super excited for this one because everybody says it's really great for using when you blend out your concealer. Some people actually use this to blend out their eyeshadow too, so it's so exciting, it's so poofy. So that is the end of this shopping haul with the large array of different products. Hope you guys found some of these fun and enjoyable to see what I bought and am excited to use. And if you are interested in going out and getting them, go get them yourselves because um, yeah, I'm really excited for a lot of these. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video again and um, I'll see you guys in my next shopping haul video you will see very very soon in the same setting and in my same clothes three videos in one day Woo! okay guys I'm gonna go now <laughs>